Okay, so let us now talk about spherical polar coordinate. So, uh, let us start with the coordinate system which you have x, y and z. This is the Cartesian coordinate we already know x, y and z. Once again, we are taking a point P which position coordinate is given by R. Okay it is x y z. So, if we write a vector a, okay, what you are going to write for this in Cartesian you can write x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap for Cartesian coordinate. Now, for the spherical polar coordinate, spherical polar coordinate what are the coordinates we have? Instead of x, y, z, we now have r, theta, phi. How these coordinates are defined? For this, r is understandable, this is r. So, the direction of r will be along this, this will be your r cap. What about theta? This vector, vector r makes an angle theta with the z axis. Okay? And if you take a projection on the x y plane like this, you add it. So, if you want to reach to this point, what you do? You go along x direction, then you go along a y direction, you go along x direction, then you go along y direction, then you go along z direction and that in that way you get to reach to your desired point. This was your x, this was your y, this was your z. So, in a spherical polar coordinate, how to realize it? This is r. So, what will be this? This thing and this thing will be same. If this is r, this angle is theta. So, this portion will be r cos theta. Okay? That is why we define z as r cos theta. So, we are basically establishing a relationship between the Cartesian and the spherical polar coordinate z is equal to r cos theta. Now, if this is r cos theta, you know the perpendicular component is r sin theta. This is the projection of r sin theta. So, this will be r sin theta. Now, whatever angle this projection makes with the x axis, that is your coordinate phi. Now, you know that if you have a vector, let us say a, if you have an angle theta, how do you get the component of a along this direction? You take the dot product of this vector with the unit vector along the direction about which on which you want to know the projection a dot n cap. So, basically it is a cos theta. If this is r sin theta, this angle is phi. So, what will be the component along x? This will be r sin theta and as we wrote cos theta. So, here it is angle is phi. So, cos phi that is why we write x is equals to r sin theta cos phi. Again, perpendicular component will be r sin theta sin phi and that is y, y is equals to r sin theta sin phi. In this way, these Cartesian coordinates and the spherical polar coordinates are interlinked. Now, what about the magnitude? If you uh, take the square of these things, then what you get? Root x square plus y square plus z square, if you take what you get? r, r is the magnitude. Okay. So, r square will be x square plus y square plus z square. So, r will be root square root of these things. So, we got r. What about theta? What about theta? z is equals to r cos theta. So, theta is equals to cos inverse z by r. Okay. Theta is equals to cos inverse z upon r. How can we find out phi? Phi you can con uh, find out by taking the ratio sin phi by cos phi. Tan phi, tan phi will be y by x. So, phi will be tan inverse y by x. Phi will be tan inverse y by x. So, in this way we can establish relationship between the Cartesian and the spherical polar coordinates. Now, how to realize the length, area 
and volume element here. Before going to that, uh, let me tell you about the limits of these variables. R R can vary from 0 to infinity. It can go from this point to infinity. Theta, theta can vary from 0 to pi and phi can vary from 0 to, to pi. So, this is the range allowed to these variables r, theta and phi. So, I think you have got pretty much idea about these coordinates. So, let us talk about the length element. Okay. Length element in spherical polar coordinate, how do we represent that? Any vector in spherical polar coordinate, you can write the way we wrote here, we can write a r, r cap, a theta, theta cap and a phi, phi cap. Component along r cap direction, component along theta cap direction and component along phi cap direction. One thing I forgot, uh, let me just show you like what is the direction of r cap, theta cap and phi cap. This was the direction of r cap, I have already told you. What about the direction of uh, theta cap? theta cap I told you that it is making an angle theta. So, it is uh, increasing in this direction. So, this will be the direction of theta cap. They are at a perpendicular direction and you see we drew the angle phi. So, it is making an angle with the projection. So, it is varying in this way. So, the angle phi cap, phi cap will be directed in this way. So, these are the directions of these unit vectors r cap, theta cap and phi cap. I hope you understood. Let us talk about now the line element, line element dl, dl. So, when you displace the point p in space, changes will be there in r coordinate, theta coordinate and phi coordinate. Change in r is quite straightforward. r you change some distance dr. So, this is the change in dr. Okay. So, this one is simple dr r cap. Now, what is the infinitesimal change in theta cap direction? Okay. Theta cap direction. So, you see this if this angle is theta, if this angle is changing, so your r is fixed. You see this is r, this is also r. This angle is changed by d theta. So, what is the direction? This is the direction of its change. If this is r, this is d theta, what is this? r d theta. Okay. This is arc, this is radius, and you have this relationship r d theta, arc by radius is equals to angle. In this way, you can find out. What about phi? Phi, you see, this was your r sin theta. So, when phi is changing, this is change uh, according to this r sin theta. r sin theta is fixed and this phi is changing. So, we can just do it in this way r sin theta, okay, it is like this r sin theta is fixed, r sin theta is fixed and it is changing by some angle d phi. So, corresponding change r sin theta d phi phi cap, okay. So, that is why we write drr plus r d theta is changing along theta cap direction r r sin theta is changing along d phi direction r sin theta changing r sin theta d phi is the amount of change along phi cap direction. So, that is why we write the line element in this way and similar to what you did in Cartesian coordinate about the volume element dx dy dz. We have this multiplied the changes in the separate axis direction along x axis along y axis along z axis. So, we got the changes along r cap is dr, changes along theta cap is r d theta, changes along phi cap is r sin theta d phi. So, in a similar manner we can calculate the volume element in spherical polar coordinate as d tau by multiplying all these components dr multiplied by r d theta multiplied by r sin theta d phi and that is why we get our standard result r square dr sin theta d theta d phi. In this way, we calculate the volume element. Okay? Thank you.
Anacademy is India's largest online teaching learning platform. You can prepare for various competitive exams like CSR, NET, GATE, JEST, IIT, JAM, TFR. Especially if you are preparing for CSR, NET, Physical Science, you can join me on Anacademy Plus. I cover all the nine units of CSR, NET, Physical Science syllabus. My approach is especially I precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic. Then I discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis. Relevant problem based on the topic, including previous year questions, are discussed. Homework and assignments are also given. This is my profile and if you want to join my Anacademy Plus courses, you can enroll for this course. And if you are new to this Anacademy uh, platform, you can take Anacademy Plus subscription using our referral code FelixR and Anacademy will give you 10% off. So take the Anacademy Plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal. Thank you.